Welcome back to the Dean's List. I'm your host, your Dean of Students, and your very best friend, Mr. Walters. November is National Native American Heritage Month. This is a time to celebrate the rich and diverse cultures, traditions, and histories of indigenous people. The word indigenous means the first people who lived in a place long before others arrived. To better understand this word, let's read the author's note from Go Show the World by Wab Canoe. Indigenous peoples and cultures have shaped our history and world, whether through the actions of great leaders or by naming the places we live, like Chicago, Seattle, and Spokane. This highlights a simple truth. Whether or not you have indigenous blood, if you live in North America today, some part of your identity has an indigenous character. Learning about indigenous heroes can help you better understand the original peoples of these lands, their descendants, and even yourself. Today, we're going to learn about Mary Golda Ross, a brilliant Cherokee woman whose passion for math and science led her to make significant contributions to space exploration. When Mary Golda Ross started her career at Lockheed during World War II, there were hardly any women engineers, and many companies expected women to leave after the war to make room for the returning men. Mary was such an extraordinary talent that she stayed at Lockheed for over 30 years and was also a member of their top secret skunk works program during the early years of the space race. Mary was born in 1908 in Oklahoma and was the great granddaughter of John Ross, principal chief of the Cherokee Nation. She went to live with her grandparents in the Cherokee capital of Tahlequah to attend school. Mary loved math and was often the only girl in her math class, but that didn't stop her from getting undergraduate and graduate degrees in math. During the Great Depression, Mary taught math and science in rural Oklahoma schools. After the United States joined World War II, Mary moved to California. She got a job as a mathematician with Lockheed in 1942. Mary worked on the P-38 Lightning, which was one of the fastest airplanes of the day. When the war ended, Lockheed was so impressed with Mary that they sent her to UCLA to study engineering. In her new position as an engineer, Mary got to work on projects close to her heart, space flight. Mary was invited into a top secret division called Skunk Works. Only 40 engineers were selected and Mary was the only woman. During her career, Mary designed concepts for interplanetary space travel and Earth orbiting flights. She contributed to the Agena rocket, which was an important step in the Apollo project landing on the moon. Mary was a strong advocate for women and girls in STEM. She was a founding member of the Society of Women Engineers chapter in Los Angeles. Even after she retired, Mary traveled to give lectures and worked with the American Indian Science and Engineering Society. When the National Museum of the American Indian opened in Washington, D.C., Mary asked her niece to make her a traditional Cherokee dress. She proudly wore the green calico dress to the opening ceremony with thousands of Native Americans. Mary Golda Ross's remarkable journey and pioneering achievements continue to inspire mathematicians and engineers, reminding us that with determination and a love for learning, anyone can reach for the stars. If you'd like to learn more about Mary Golda Ross, check out this book in the Ponderosa Library, Classified, The Secret Chapter of Mary Golda Ross, Cherokee Aerospace Engineer by Tracy Sorrell, with illustrations by Natasha Donovan. While you're at it, check out the other books in our library celebrating National Native American Heritage Month. I'd love to know what you find. Thanks again for joining me today on The Dean's List. I've been your host, your Dean of Students, and your very best friend, Mr. Walters. And I'll see you next time on The Dean's List. Mr. Walters is running the hall. Can, can somebody get him?
Reese's. I'm free. Reset this over. Get back to work. Thank <laughs> you.